Are you okay? I'm just not sure I'm up to a night out. Yeah, it's been a long day. I just want you to relax and, hey, now that we're back together again. Not that simple, T.C. I know. You still have feelings for Julia. I just, I just need you to, to know the truth about everything, including him, from now on. Eve, if you're having second thoughts about choosing me over Julia, just, just tell me. Oh, don't tell me you are, uh, drowning your sorrows in a sea of booze, Julia. Come on, she wasn't worth it. But you go to hell, Father. I've heard enough out of you for one night. <laughs> Come on, if you really look at this, Julian, women like me are a dime a dozen, and they don't cost much more than that. I'm warning you. Oh. Golly. The dumpy is still defending the dumper. You're nothing but a wimp. Now, what are you going to do? You going to haul off and sock your old man again? I wouldn't do that if I were you, Julian. You made a big mistake by hitting me tonight. So you keep saying, that's because I mean what I say. Once I'm finished with you and the ones you love, I'm finally going to understand the true meaning of revenge. Please don't be here, Ethan. I need you so badly. I know you still care. Mm. 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 I love you. Mm. Only you. Oh, God. Oh, my God, Teresa! What? what in the hell are you doing here? I can't believe I'm saying this, but what? tonight's turned out to be wonderful. It's not the type of evening you're used to, I am <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> but it's been nice. Better than nice. It's perfect. You haven't seen anything yet. And what else could there be? Well, you'll see. You ready? Oh, I'm ready. Come on. Where are we going? Follow me. <laughs> Is that it, Eve? Are you having second thoughts about breaking up with Julian to come back to me? I won't be angry, I promise. Heartbroken, but I won't be angry. No. No, D.C., no second thoughts. More than anything, I, I want to put our marriage and our family back together again. Well, honey, what's the problem? I guess I'm just the one having a shaky heart right now. I love Julian. I, I guess I still do. Maybe? I don't know. I, but it's nothing for you to worry about. I'm, I'm not going to act on my feelings. I, I just need you to know that it's going to take me a while to stop thinking about him. I want you to know that. Sweetheart, I am so glad that you're being straight with me right now. And not pretending that everything is perfect. No, you're taking this very well, T.C. Sweetheart, are you afraid that I'm going to take out your feelings for Julian on him? It wouldn't be the first time. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to bend over backwards to be nice to this guy. I mean, we've had too many issues together over the years. I know. But you say that Julian has changed. And I want to believe you. I swear I want to believe you. And I will give you all the time that you need to get over it. Is that good enough? It'll have to be. Thank you, T.C. Mr. and Mrs. Russell, your table's ready. Listen, sweetheart. I don't want to talk about Julian. I don't want to talk about anybody. I want to enjoy 
our celebration together, all right? Just you and us. Go ahead, Father. You do your worst. You can't possibly hurt me any more than I've already been hurt by losing Eve. Oh, please. Spare me from your emotional details. You have no idea what it's like to lose the one woman you ever loved. Wait, what is that? Made a nerve, perhaps. As usual, Julian, you're dead wrong about everything. Although I do know of something that would cause you more suffering than you're feeling right now. Turn around, Julian. Go ahead. Turn around. Okay, Teresa, this, now, this is the last straw. What, now, now you're spying on my husband and me making love? This is not acceptable. Do something about her. Teresa, w what are you doing here? I obviously made it a terrible mistake. Now, that's an understatement. All right, now, now she's gone crazy, and now I'm going to call the police. No, wait, wait, don't do if that. You're going to defend her, so help me go. No, Gwen, listen, she looked really upset. Not half as upset as I am right now. No, honey, not about this. Not about this. What if she came looking for me because Alistair did something? What if he did something to her? Ethan, she is upset because she just walked in on a man she is completely obsessed with, making love to his wife as if it were a crime. And if she's embarrassed, she ought to be embarrassed, caught red-handed like that. No wonder she ran away. I really don't think that's all of it. I knew he was going to hurt her. She's a big girl. She is a big girl, and she knew exactly, exactly what she was doing when she made a pact with the devil. She can take care of herself. If anyone can handle Alistair, it's Teresa to herself. <laughs> Okay, that's Jane. I'm gonna go check on her. She probably just needs a diaper change. I will be right back. Will you wait for me here? Because mm -hmm. I want to finish this conversation. All right. Yeah. <sighs> what if you hurt her? We gotta find out. Julian. I didn't know he was here, TC. Neither did I. You bastard, you knew they were here. Perhaps I did, but I didn't arrange it. Didn't arrange it at all. Did you notice how cozy they look together? Shut up, Father. You know, it's very interesting to me here. You sit pining over her, and she's gallivanting all over the place with T.C. as if they were never apart. So much for the only woman you could ever love, huh, Julian? Huh? So I wonder what they're going to do when they get back into the privacy of their old bedroom. I said, shut up! You know, the uh, not-so-good doctor better enjoy herself while she can, because once she's behind bars, there's going to be a huge lack of male companionship. But then again, I understand if you are really horny, gender really doesn't matter. Dirty, rotten bastard. Don't ever try this again, ever. I really don't mind if we go someplace else or, or we can even go home. Sweetheart, I am not going to let Julian Crane run me out of here. I'm going to see him around town anyway, so I might as well get used to the two of you being in the same room together. You sure come a long way, TC. I had to. It's all because of my temper it ruined our marriage. But I'm going to do everything I can to make sure that our born-again relationship is safe and sound. taken Ethan and his feelings for me when it's obvious that he loves Gwen and he doesn't love me. Teresa. 
please get away from me, okay? I'm like an idiot. I feel really stupid right now. Listen, listen. You don't have to be... No, stop it. You, your wife thinks that, that I was stalking you, too, and you probably do, too, right? Because let me tell you something. The last thing that I, that I expected to see, the last thing that I, that I wanted to see was you two that way. She is my wife. I know, Ethan. I was just, I wasn't thinking, you know. I was upset. Because of Alistair? Yes. I knew it. What did he do? What did he do to you? Did he, he did didn't. he... But he wants to force me to have sex with him. Oh, that son of a... You, uh, you care about me? Oh, Teresa, of course I care about you. Okay. I care. Shh. Oh, God, I'm, that was pretty bad, you know. He, um, he, he wasn't going to take his hands off of me, and I, and I asked him, I asked him to stop, and, you know, he's, he's, He's sick. He's sick. He's sick. He's, he's, he's twisted. You know, just like everyone said that he was. I know he is. He's a pervert in a fancy suit, and he should be behind bars. I just, I can't believe that I thought that I could handle him. <laughs> I warned you about him, didn't I? No one can handle that man. What am I doing? I'll tell you what you're going to do. You're going to stop crying, and we're going to figure something out. That's what we're I, I came to find you because I knew that if I told you it happened, you would you would find some way to fix this. You know, I had this this, this fantasy, you know, where I came to you and and I and I told you everything, and you took me in your arms and you said, it's Teresa, everything is gonna be just fine." Oh, Teresa, stop. I know I'm getting ahead of myself. I always do, but look, we can still be together. You know, we can be together the way that we're supposed to be. No. No, what? No, we don't have a future, Teresa. There's no happily ever after for us. My happily ever after is with my wife. It's not with you. Night fishing? Yeah, what'd you think I was talking about us doing, huh? You mean... Ah, you were thinking I was wanting to do something else. Unbelievable. <laughs> you know, if you don't want to, we can just end the date right here. No, no, I, I can do this. I'm in this far. There's the spirit. The trouble is, after that kiss, had something else in mind. Honey, I know what you're going to order. And how can you know that? Well, for the past 20 years, you've ordered lobster every time we've come here. Yeah, you're right. I do always order the same thing. Yeah. The time that you were pregnant with Simone, you couldn't stand to see a lobster. <laughs> That's right. I remember. All I wanted to have was BLTs every night. Every day. I think you had a BLT lunch, dinner, and breakfast. Thank you, TC. What? Getting you a BLT when you want it? No problem. No. For all the, the nice things you've done for me over the years. It means that I love you. T.C. Russell. What? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I, yeah I'll, I'll be right there. All right. What is it? My star basketball player was in a car accident. Oh, God, is he all right? 
Yeah, he, he's fine. It's just that the cops are harassing him, and I'm going to go check on him. Oh, sweetheart, I'm sorry. No, I mean, really, don't apologize after all the interruptions that my job has given us all through these years. Stay. I'll be back in about a half hour, and then we can uh, pick up from there. If you wait for me, okay? Are you sure? You know what? Tonight, we're going to celebrate being back together again. Unless you want to cut it short. No, I, I don't mind waiting. Be right back. changed more. I... And then look what happened. I lost you both. But you can't lose yourself. Well, I beg to differ with you, my dear. You see, I, I really don't think it, 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 it matters. It seems to me to be a hell of a lot easier to go back to my old self and not give a damn about anyone because I, I, I really don't see any other way to keep from... keep from feeling the way I'm feeling right now. You need to give up on this dream. We're not going to end up together, Teresa. I love my wife. No, no, no. Ethan, not the way you love me. I know you're committed to her. I know you want to be a good and loyal husband to her, and Ethan, I admire that. I really do. But not at the cost of our happiness. You know, sometimes we do things in life where we think we're doing the right thing, but what we really should be doing is following our hearts. Follow your heart, Ethan, now. Before more time goes on, and it, it's just going to get harder and harder. You know something, you're absolutely right. You, uh, you know you quit? No. No. Listen to what you just said to me. You need to apply these words you just said to me to this, this unholy alliance you have with Alistair. Please, Teresa, cut ties with that man before things get really involved and he hurts you more than he already has. And the longer you stay in this house, the worse it's going to get. You need to leave. Leave tonight before it gets worse and it, it's too late. Do you understand? Okay, yes, I understand, and I will leave. I will leave right now. Come on, we'll get some children and we'll go right now because it's a long No, I can't. The last time you have to give this up. Give it up, please. You and I will never be. Never.
You're not half bad at this. Honest, I've never been fishing in my life. You're kidding. <laughs> that obvious, is it? Well, let's just say I'll never forget the look on your cooking bait box. That whole business is truly disgusting. I'll never eat sushi again. Whatever you say. And this time, when we catch our load of fish, don't start giving them names like you did those poor oh, lobsters. Got such great ones. How about uh, there's Noah? Uh... <laughs> All right. What are you thinking about? But I've never sat still for so long without getting a manicure. Ah, <laughs> see, but that's what's so great about fishing. Leaves you alone with your innermost thoughts. Which are? Um, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going, where I'm coming from, who I'm going with. Mm. You mean a woman? Yeah. Well, someday I plan to settle down, uh, start a family, the whole nine yards. Yeah, but you wouldn't be interested in all that. I don't know. So what do you think about? It? I mean, when the tape's not rolling, you know, there's no camera bulbs splashing. What goes on in that beautiful, spoiled mind of yours? Things you wouldn't dream. Oh, you hooked one. Hey, you got your first fish. Here. Ready? Ready? Julian, please don't let this change who you are. You are so wonderful. She most certainly was a bastard to you years ago. I treated you so badly. Oh, but you more than made up for that the last couple of years. Please, don't go back to the person you were before, please. How about we don't make any promises to each other that we can't keep? I do love you. Then why? How can you even ask me that? All those years I had with TC, our building a family together, and you've seen firsthand what my choices have done to Whitney and Simone. Senor. You're truly going back to T.C. because of the girls? It's not as simple as that, Julia. I may be going to prison for a long, long time. No, I won't let that happen. But in spite of your best efforts and Ethan, it's a very real possibility. And one of the few things that I can do to make up for all the messes that I've made in my life is to repair my marriage and my family and try to get them all back together again. I, 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 I understand, but I, if, if you love me just half as much as I love you. I do. I do. What we had was magical. And it was healing and it was everything that I could have asked for. But it was, it wasn't realistic to think that it could last forever. Why not? Because my daughters need me. Eve, listen to me. Whitney, Whitney is, 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 is gone. She's, she's joined that convent. She could change her mind. And Simone, oh, she needs me now more than she ever has. All right, well, what's, what's going on with her? It's personal, Julian. You just have to trust me that she does. Julian, I know that it's so much to ask because you have supported me so loyally for so long. But do you think that you can manage to do it for just a little longer just to help me get through this? Eve, I'm telling you. All I ever wanted was for you to be happy. Even if that means you're leaving me for TC. You are the best man that I have 
never known. And you can never go back to the way you were. Not even if you wanted. How's Jane? Oh, I think she is wonderful. I just got her back to sleep, and the second she was in my arms, she quieted right down. I was singing to her, and she was smiling. I love that little girl so much. I could not love her more if I gave birth to her myself. I know. So what am I going to do if Teresa manages to take her away from me? That's not going to happen. How do you know that? She's got Alistair on her side now. I think that relationship has come to an end. Why? You spoke to her, didn't you? Yes, Gwen, I spoke to her. She was very upset. I wanted to make sure that Alistair hadn't hurt her. Did he? He tried. But she managed to get away from him. And you learned all of that as she wept crocodile tears all over your bare chest. Gwen, don't. I made it very, very clear to her that she was barking up the wrong tree if she was harboring any hopes of ever getting back together with me. I told her that I was your husband and that I'm going to be your husband for the rest of my life. Really? Really. Hmm. And I told her she needs to get out of this house as soon as she can and that she needs to make sure that Alistair is not around her anymore. Let's hope she listens this time for everyone's sake. <laughs> Teresa? What's wrong? What's wrong? The guy would tell you anything. You can, you know. You know what, Catherine? I wouldn't confide in you if I was on fire. You, you ran off with my father. You, you broke my mother's heart. You destroyed my entire family. Just leave me alone. Teresa. I completely understand why you resent me, but if this is about Alistair, I am the person to talk to. <sighs> what has he done to you? He tried. It was... it was disgusting. He loves nothing better than degrading and dehumanizing women. That's how he gets them under his control. Then why are you still with him? If you know all this, why are you still married him? Why don't you just leave? I can't. And there are reasons I can't explain. But you do not have to subject yourself to his filthy behavior. Teresa, leave here. Take your little boy. Leave the mansion tonight before something even more unspeakable happens to you. Moby Dick on the line here. I told you it was big. <laughs> All right, don't let go. I need you. <laughs> Who's letting go? <laughs> Start reeling him in. I am. Ah. Ah. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> that was a close one. All right, we still got him here. All right. One more big pool in his arms. Okay, count of three. One, <laughs> two, three. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my fish? It looks like he got away. <laughs> I love you, Ian. And I always will, whether you're with me or with... or with TC, I know you're innocent. And I'll move heaven and earth with my own two hands if I have to, to prove it. I love you so much, Julia. tonight while you still can. I don't even know why I'm considering taking advice from you after every single thing you've done to my family. Teresa, I know what I'm talking about. Alistair's cruelty is the reason I left Harmony all those years ago. It is why your father helped me. The man is a ruthless monster. I'm not like you, Catherine. I can handle him. You are lying to yourself if you believe that. This whole house is full of evil. The walls 
The foundations, every stick of expensive furniture that's in it, it's built on the anguished cries of poor souls that Alistair and his forebears destroyed to get where he is today. You go. You go before you get so caught in it, you can't get out. Like you, you mean? Yes. Do it for your mother, if you won't do it for yourself. If she has suffered enough, don't let her lose you, too. Catherine, I mean my daughter, too. Alistair promised. Oh, Teresa. Alistair isn't going to keep his promise. No, instead, he will turn on you, and you will lose so much more than your little girl. He's using this devil's bargain with you to get what he wants, and what he wants is to control you. Well, but this doesn't make any sense to me, because he can have any woman that he wants. He wants something from you, Teresa. And the more I think about it, the more I am certain it's not about sex. What is it? Do you even know what Alistair wants from you? Get away from her, Catherine, now. I said, now. You all right? I'll say. <laughs> I mean, from the fall. <laughs> what fall? You ready to try again? The fishing, I mean? Absolutely. <laughs> Only this time, my fish isn't going to get away. <laughs> if you say so. Oh. <sighs> my bracelet. <laughs> my bracelet must have come off when you fell. Uh, oh, my God. Man, don't even tell me how much that thing cost. A lot? Grandfather gave it to me. If he notices I'm not wearing it... I have a feeling that guy doesn't miss much. That's what I'm afraid of. You know what? No, there's nothing that can be done about it. All right. Well, you ready to reel in another one? All set. <laughs> done a lot in my travels around the world. So I've heard. But I've never had as much fun as I'm having with you tonight. That means a lot. What are you doing? I was good. Teresa's not going to take Jane away from us. Is she going to take you away from me? No, she's not. Gwen, I think I really got through to her tonight. I mean, she was so shaken up by Alistair's piggish behavior, I think she finally learned her lesson. Honey, do you know how many times I've thought that? Teresa is not like other people. She's got some weird, huge threshold for pain. Well, not anymore. I wish I had your conviction. You can. If not forever, how about just for tonight? You know what? Weren't we in the middle of something down at the pool? Um, I don't know. Yeah. You know, a little, little something. Mm. 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 What? What is it? Can we just make sure that the door is locked? We've already had one unexpected uh, visit from Teresa tonight. Will you stop worrying? She's probably tucked in her bed sleeping or she might even be on her way out of the mansion trust me i told you to get away from teresa catherine i don't want you filling up her head with all of your private paranoia oh it has nothing to do with paranoia when it comes to you alistair i know you're up to something horrible with her shut up go to your room that's an order I'm not your slave. Wrong, Catherine. Have you forgotten our agreement? What does he have on you, Catherine? Don't test me, Catherine.
the night, Alistair. Where do you think you're going? Uh, uh, home. It was a mistake for you're me mis to be no, here. No, no, your mistake is that you think you can move out. Look at that. Please just let go of me. You're hurting me. Well, there's a solution for that. Stop resisting. Ow! You are not going anywhere. To repay me for my overwhelming generosity. 